all of it. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day that in which he was taken up, after that he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. Uh, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And here we are, right over here now, the land of Oz, land down under. And we're still preaching this same message of salvation and freedom from sin. Freedom from the uh, power of sin, the presence of sin, and also the penalty of sin first up. Now, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the penalty for your sin has been taken upon the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And you can go free because of the finished work of Jesus Christ upon the cross of Calvary. Now this will only work for you if you come to him in faith. If you put your faith in him. If you're prepared to understand that you are a guilty and deserving sinner. And you cannot save yourself. And the only way of salvation is for our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. When he loved us enough to die upon the cross. And I've just finished preaching concerning the crucifixion of Christ. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was there. To praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's up in heaven now. He's waiting for your decision. What will you decide concerning the Lord Jesus Christ? This will determine your eternal destiny. You'll either be in heaven or in hell at the moment when you die. And we need to understand that. There's, there's a decision to be made. <coughs> yes. <coughs> if we don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we'll be in hell at the moment of death. But God does not want that for you, my friend. <coughs> So I'm still trying to get over the bad fur at the moment. You see, when we are born in this world, we are born as sinners. And those sins are taking us down to hell. God does not want that. And so the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is He your Saviour? You need to... You need to make him your saviour, otherwise he will never be your saviour and you'll end up dying and going down to hell. And God does not want that for you, my friend. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud <coughs> received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as they went up, behold, two men stood uh, by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven, then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, or the Mount of Olivet, the Mount of Olives, 
which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, and, uh, Andrew Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon Zelotes, and Judas the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said that that were our names were together were about 120 men and brethren. This scripture must needs be have been fulfilled which the Holy Spirit by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Jesus, for he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field uh, with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem insomuch as that field is called in their proper tongue a servant, that is to say the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, uh, let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied uh, with us all the time, uh, that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John unto the same day that he was taken up from us. You know, he was taken back up into heaven where he came from before he was crucified. Must one be ordained of the to be a witness with us of his resurrection? And they appointed two. Joseph called Barsabas, who was surnamed Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knoweth the hearts of all men, show whether of these two, or which of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that is Judas Iscariot, by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. So now they, they had uh, another, they had the twelve apostles. Uh, originally they had twelve, but of course Judas Iscariot was one, and he was a fake believer, he was a fake, fake Christian. There was no way that Judas was ever saved. See, a lot of people think that if you're saved, if you're a child of God, if you're a Christian, you can lose your salvation. Well, that's not the case. The Judas was never ever saved. He was an imposter. <coughs> yes, he was a cop man. He was never ever saved. And so, you know, you and I need salvation. We need salvation because of our sin. Our sins are keeping us out of heaven. And God wants us to be in heaven. And the only way we can be in heaven is if we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ so we can receive forgiveness for our sins. You see, forgiveness of our sins is only possible through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's absolutely no other way to be in heaven. Neither is there salvation. This is Acts 4 and verse 12. We'll get to that eventually when I, uh, you know, get, get a bit into the preaching of, in the Acts of the Apostles, the Acts of the Holy Spirit, really they are. But uh, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. I want you to understand this. There is no other way to heaven apart from our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross as the sinless substitute that took the sinner's place upon the cross of Calvary. Which means that if you come to the Lord Jesus Christ in all your sin, in all your need, realize your guiltiness, your hell-deservingness because of your sinful behavior, 
You and I were born in this world, were born as sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. And so we need forgiveness for those sins. Without forgiveness for those sins, we'll never ever be in heaven. The only place we're going to be is down in hell. And God does not want that. He wants you to be in heaven with himself for all eternity. But the only way we could be there is through the once for all sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon the cross. That precious blood that was shed that day on that cross has the power to wash your sins away, my friend. Have you taken advantage of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ? The once for all sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient for all that will call upon the name of the Lord, as the word of God says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that could be you this evening. You need to get right with God, and this is urgent. You know, there's no time for beating around the bush. There's no time for saying, well, I'll do it later on, I'll do it tomorrow, or whatever. That's the devil's lie, my friend, procrastination. He wants you to put this matter of salvation off. And I'm here to tell you, you need to come to Christ now. I mean, right now. As you listen to this message, as you understand your sinful condition before the Lord, and that you cannot get to heaven by yourself. None of us can. None of us can measure up to the holy, perfect standard of the living God. You know, God's standard is absolute perfection. And the only one who measures up to that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he did just that. But that even couldn't get us to heaven. His perfect life couldn't get us to heaven. He had to die upon the cross, my friend. He had to be crucified for you and for me. Look at the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Who's being crucified for you and for me? Pain and agony and bloodshed. He shed his precious blood for you and for me. In whom we have redemption through his blood even. The forgiveness of sin. Will you come to Christ this evening? Will you put your faith in him? Acknowledge you're a sinner before God. It's called repentance. It's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. <coughs> and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that God promises you everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. See the heaven or hell, what will it be for you? It's all determined by what you do with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.